So in two Grenadiers, we have two concerns. The first one is making sure we're playing with a low first finger on the A string and the E string. And all that is is pulling the first finger back without letting the wrist come up. So we have a nice neutral wrist. And we're just pulling our finger back like there's a rubber band pulling it back. So that's on the A string for B flat and F natural on the E string. Our other concern is the bowing. So in the first half of the piece, bowing is a major thing we have to deal with. So we have two bowing patterns and the first one is a new one and it is called a hooked bowing pattern and you're going to find it in the very beginning of the piece. And so on. So that's the first grenadier. That's what I call the first grenadier of the piece. And it has that hooked rhythm. So, I'm going to play it a few times, and if you are able to, follow along, or play along, rather. One, two, ready, go. The second bowing pattern is a continuation of the pattern that we had in Happy Farmer, the next to last piece in book one. And that bow pattern is... And we find this bowing pattern in the second grenadier part of the piece. So we have the first grenadier the hook bowings, and then we have the second grenadier, which is very similar to the hooked bowing pattern, but it's kind of slower. And like I said before, it's what we had in Happy Farmer. So the bowing for the first half of two grenadiers goes like this. So I'm going to play it one more time, and when you get the hang of it, you can play along and see if you're doing the right bowing. I'm going to retune my A string. So it doesn't sound weird when you play along. So here we go. One, two, go.